In the previous section, we saw how we can create warehouse and location and receive items from vendor to stock and deliver items from stock to customer and make internal transfer and track product by lot number and serial number. This is section number five, accounting management. In this section, we will going to take a look at configuring chart for accounts, configuring payment journals, creating customer voice and registering the payment, tax management, analytical accounting, asset management, and finally, legal reports. Configuring chart for account. In this video, we are going to take a look at creating an account and duplicating an account. First of all, we have pre-configuration setting. We can activate developer mode, then go to customer profile and give him option show for accounting features. Now let's go to our system to apply that. From setting menu, you can activate the developer mode. Then you can move to user profile like that and make edit and give him the option show for accounting feature. Then you can save it. After that, you have to refresh your system. From invoicing menu, then configuration port, I will go to submenu accounting, then chart account. From this part, you can create any account if you want. You can duplicate any account if you wish. So to can do that, you have to enter a code for the account and the name for the account and you have to link it to specific type this type it will map this account to the right statement like if you choose it to be receivable so it will map it to be balance sheet as you can see Odoo provide you a map for every type like receivable it will map to balance sheet and depreciation it will map to profit and loss statement so you can link it to the right type like bank and the cash and you can link it to default tags and you can link it tags and groups for reporting wise it will be used for enterprise version and you can mark it to allow reconciliation of this account is receivable or payable account to can match the payment with the invoice and you can mark it to be deprecated if you want to deactivate this account now we will duplicate this account and create a new account called HSBC HSBC account bank serve it now you will find you have new account called HSBC account 